Hi, right, so welcome back to the channel. If you made it here, I don't know how you made it here, but you probably might have came from her video. If you did, then um, I appreciate it if you watched this till the end. But like, this is something that I always wanted to talk. Or I wanted to talk about for the past like two, three weeks, but I didn't know how to actually make the video. But since she's already talking about it, I was like, might as well just react to it. You feel me? So the video is called Are YouTubers Narcissists? Oh, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. You know, it's it's some YouTubers are able to control it more or deal with it. Some YouTubers can't. You feel me? That's that's how I think. Um, you know, once you start getting that confirmation bias and people subscribing and liking everything you do, you just think you're the shit. You feel me? It's just natural. It's human human nature to like once people start agreeing with you. And then you start, you begin to start thinking that everything that you do or say is correct. You start thinking that you're, you're smart, you're intelligent, everything you do is right. And that, you know, it puts you on a plateau and your plateau just keeps going up. The more people agree with you, confirmation bias starts to set in and then you become a complete, you know, the saying is that absolute power corrupts absolutely. Um, the more power you get, the more corrupted you become, the more narcissistic you might become. So let's get into this video and I'm going to stop it and talk about this as she goes along. And, you know, this is something I wanted to talk about for a minute now. So, but this is the beautiful Madison Brown. She blew up on YouTube. She started with like, when I found her, she had like 10K subscribers. Now she had 48.2K and less than like two, three weeks, which is insane. But let's keep going. Let's get into it. And um, yeah, go subscribe to her channel. Feel me? Really, I've been thinking about YouTube and what, what it, it takes. takes to be a YouTuber. Cringe, because cringe, it's a weird cringe. Job. Hella cringy. I'm very new to this. You know, I'm kind of the new kid on the block when it comes to making YouTube videos. But I've learned a lot on this journey and something, something that, that I can't do. ignore is the level of self-obsession and narcissism that is required to do something like YouTube. I was under the impression that narcissism only exists in people who have narcissistic personality disorder, but apparently you can just have narcissistic traits regardless of actually having a disorder. That's just an extreme case of narcissism. I'm not claiming to know much about narcissism. I'm not a psychologist, but do you have to have an element of narcissism to be a YouTuber? Of course. And I start begin to cringe at this part. Is this necessary? Come on now. But no, nah, let me stop. The thing is, I spend so much time with myself. Way too much time than I would. Um, I think, you know, as a YouTuber, th that's probably something that's gonna happen a lot more considering that you have to sit down and watch your videos and edit them. Me personally. I don't spend a lot of time editing these reaction videos. I go to the beginning and I make it fade in and fade out at the end. And then I barely watch in the middle parts because I know if I watch it, I'm going to be disgusted with the way I sound, the way I look sometimes. And I'm going to be like, you know what? Do I really want to post this? That's why I just fade in the beginning, fade out the, the end, and then I just render it. I might edit a few parts. Or I might listen to a little bit of it but i try not to listen to too much because i know i'm gonna not want to post it so would like actually i mean you know i'm pretty cool i'm all right she's tolerable but sometimes i just wish i could unzip my body astral and project out of it and not have to hear my voice or hear my thoughts for a few you hours, be on the outside especially after in. filming and editing for hours because I am just constantly staring, staring at myself. I understand how lucky you are to have a fully functioning and healthy body. When I look at yeah. my- Please shut up. Just shut the f yeah, up. I'm staring how at myself be. right now. That's how it be. And you know, as beautiful as I may be, I've had enough. You know, whenever I get a comment where someone is sharing their opinion that I really don't care about, I always think, dude, who f she don't agree with the opinion so you like <laughs> see when people come at me or like if someone says some shit or like it's funny because i had a few comments where people said like said like a certain i remember someone said something on my 6 9 video and like reaction i did 
and then deleted it. And I was about to laugh at it. He was like, oh, you said 6 9 a rat and you don't fuck with him, but you're making a reaction. you just like every other YouTuber. I was about to laugh at that. Like, bro, do you think I care, bro? <laughs> like, like, like if I wanted, to, if I make a reaction, even though I say I don't fuck with him, I could, I'm allowed to do that, bro. I can do whatever I want to do. Like, I was going to laugh at his comment, but he deleted it. And I feel like that's what I would do with almost every comment with any type of hate or anything like that. It's like, bro, like your comment doesn't mean much to me, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Like I, like I appreciate the, 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 the love. Those comments mean shit to me and like make me want to go forward. But hate comments, I don't think that would ever, ever hurt me. Cause it's like, bro, I'm already insecure. Like I see my insecurities and I, 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 I you know, I accept them, you know, like, at, for the most part, I accept them. And it's like, bro, if you leave some hate, I'm going to just laugh at you, bro, because you can't do nothing to me for real, for real. You know, like, I don't know. It's just different for me. I'm desensitized to a lot of shit. Um, King asked for your opinion. But then, but then like, I'm like, who asked for your opinion? She look mad different here. Bags OD. Okay, yeah, you right. I'm making YouTube videos solely based off of my thoughts and opinions and you know nobody said that my opinions were right and I don't even think my opinions are necessarily right That's but part of being I mean aware. I think they're right to a certain extent because if I thought I was completely wrong you wouldn't I wouldn't post be it. posting it on the internet uh -huh. for thousands of people to see I mean my first video is literally called why I'm conceited all right so I was really struggling trying to put my words together so basically what I was trying to say was that something within me goes, you know what, Madison? You're so f***ing smart. You know what? You're so smart that you should record yourself talking and post it on the internet so other people see how smart you are and they start thinking like you. You're so smart indeed that you should... That is narcissism to the T. <laughs> Let me stop. charging people money monthly just to hear you talk. That being said, go check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Madison Brown. Something within me truly she believes really that what that, I'm saying yo. is good enough to share with the world. And I mean, that's not necessarily narcissism, but again, nobody asked. I understand why so many YouTubers and influencers end up going a little crazy or go ham on the plastic surgery. <laughs> Because they spend Bro, so you, much time staring at themselves you have to do that? that they become obsessed with their flaws and quirks because that's all they see. If you're constantly consuming yourself, of course you're going to overload on things that you don't like about yourself. Since I've become a YouTuber, yes. I've noticed so much about myself and my mannerisms, how I talk, and it honestly kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's uh, unnatural. Someone shouldn't be so hyper aware of every single little thing that they do with their hands or their mouth or their voice. This entire channel, along with basically every other YouTuber, is about me, 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 me. It's all about that creator. It's all about what they think, what they feel, what they do. What really fascinates me is the voice. That's why my channel is a reaction channel and I focus on videos. That's why I don't do audios because I'm like, bro, this is not about me. There's a small part of the video that's about me, like what I think about the song, like near the end of the song or when I paused a reaction video. But like for the most part, I'm just reacting and you're seeing how I, I'm paying attention to it. That's about it. But for the most part, you should be paying attention to, you know, the, the video on, on, until I pause it or until I talk at the end. Like, that's why I kind of why I made this channel. I don't want it to be solely focused on myself. Like, I, I'm not I, I don't I don't want that, bro. I don't want all that attention. I'm an introvert. <laughs> like, I'm an introvert for real. Like, I don't want the entire focus to be on me blogger because they believe that their life is interesting enough to share with people to monetize off of there has to be some part of you that is so self-important that you believe that your everyday human life is worthy enough to share with other people and make money off of and once you actually build a fan base and you get thousands of comments every day saying how great your content is how cool you are as a person how 
right you are, then, (laughs) well, that's when the real narcissism kicks in, doesn't it? If you pay too much attention to comments, whether they're positive or negative, then your self-image becomes completely warped. You can have your ego completely boosted up to the fucking sky and also have your character just demolished within the span. I like her. I like her. I like her. She's very um, aware. (laughs) Let me say that. She seems to be very aware you know of two seconds it's It's crazy crazy how how much these comments can really affect us and i think think that's that's why why so many influencers like david dobrik and james charles are so out of touch touch with my god yo she is doing this on purpose bro she is doing this on purpose i swear to god because not not only only does does the money money and the fame make them feel great but their loyal adorning fans they they keep that idea going that they're these great humans who can do absolutely no wrong the whole james charles situation is really what inspired me to make this video because there's no way this dude is mentally grounded there's not a single note in that cover that is wrong every single note is perfectly on pitch I mean, if you're like a 20-something year old millionaire, then what can you expect? But the thing is, this dude has literally committed a crime by sending to minors, yet he doesn't care. And nobody else really does either. I mean, his fans don't anyway. Normal people who can understand that this is really f***ed up see that this is f***ed up. To a certain extent, no one cares because he's still making videos. He's still going on about his life like nothing ever happened. Even though what he did was literally illegal and there's evidence of that. Like many notes app apologies, James Charles' apology was far from sincere. He basically, basically just put the blame on the kids, kids saying he lied about his age and, you know, next, next time, time he'll ask, ask people for their IDs. So, so many people are shocked by this, but how, how can you be? I mean, James, James Charles is the last uh, person I expect to have a grounded state of mind who understands nice. that his actions have consequences. Bro, everyone will justify their actions if they can, especially if they're narcissistic. They're definitely going to justify their actions. We people with narcissists even regular people who are not narcissistic will justify their actions if they're in the wrong that's just normal human behavior if you're caught doing something that you really don't want to you know admit to it (laughs) if it's something really bad for the most part people will not admit to it so they're gonna make up you know whatever they can to get out of it especially if they realize how severe the consequences might be so because a lot of people like him there are no consequences to their actions and that looks like it's being proven right before our eyes he's not facing jail time he doesn't have a court date coming up he's just roaming free like he didn't send pics to a underage child and the same thing goes for the whole david dobrik situation i'm not following it very closely but i watched a video about the body language that he was exhibiting in his apology video to get a objective point of view even hipster homeboy with the button-up floral shirt said this dude is full of david dobrik can't give a genuine apology because he doesn't actually think he did anything wrong he doesn't genuinely feel apologetic because he doesn't understand that what he did was up when you're at such a level of fame and fortune you feel like you can get away with so much and i mean you can especially if you're a rich white boy again i'm not an expert on narcissists but if someone can trick their friend into kissing an old man and trick girls into sleeping with their friends by coercing them by giving them alcohol and they show little to no remorse i i have to say there's something a little off about that there's something not right there oh and i forgot to point out the obvious mans is literally behind the camera throughout all this chaos he's managed to convince his friends to do this crazy while he just sits behind the camera and does a stupid laugh and then makes millions off of people's humiliation while he just gets to sit back and laugh he's like a genius mastermind puppet master yeah i mean if you could sit back and pull the strings from afar and make other people do the work wouldn't you do it it's 
it's like directors for a movie they don't have to be in the limelight but they probably get more money than the actors sometimes you know they're getting more money i mean it depends I, I don't necessarily know but like say if you had a youtube channel and you could have other youtubers under you say like you know how artists sign other artists say if like there's a youtuber i think dg ddg does this where he has other people underneath him so like if you have a whole enterprise and you have other people making youtube videos getting millions of views wouldn't you rather just have that 10 people getting millions of views and they have to send you money instead of you having to constantly create videos i mean it might be your passion to create videos but eventually you might start getting tired and if you start getting tired and you decide you want to stop then you're not getting money anymore or you might get money but not as much as if you continue to create videos whereas if you have other people doing it then your money's never going to stop you feel me and even if it does stop it won't be as drastic a cut as if you know you had other people under you honestly kind of terrifying someone compared him to ted bundy it's a little extreme but you know the shoe fits david dobrik and james charles aren't the only people in the youtube community who exhibit these self-centered self-important arrogant traits i'd say the average youtuber is pretty normal i don't think that we're all gonna end up like james charles or david dobrik or jeffrey star but i think it's interesting that so many of these creeps exist within the entertainment industry and i think um for the most part i think most youtubers are normal per se but i think they're all a little narcissistic for the most part especially once they start to gain a, a you know gain a, a really decent sized following you know the confirmation bias is really like that shit is strong bro once people start to confirm your biases like once people start to agree with you on everything you say and like your comments and like your videos it's gonna blow your ego up and if you can't handle that you're gonna think everything you do is right um and so i mean there might be nothing wrong with what you're doing but you're still gonna have that you know thought in your head that like yo this is gonna be a great video like this what i'm talking about right now i i'm i'm probably right like i know what i'm talking about um even though you may not you know your ego gets blown out of proportion that's all I think it has something to do with weird narcissism that's required to be in front of the camera all the time. Speaking of power, another point that I forgot to mention in the original shooting of this video. A lot of this has to do with power, right? Because the reason why James Charles goes after these little boys is because he understands that he has the upper hand in this power dynamic. He has the status in this relationship. Therefore, he knows that it's super easy to manipulate and get his way with these kids because he's the one with all of the power, the clout, the status, etc. Clearly his mind is not right because if he were a functioning normal adult, he would want to be in relationships with normal functioning adults, but it doesn't seem like he knows how to maintain those kinds of relationships. I mean, even with a normal functioning adult, he would still have power over them considering that he's a huge YouTuber and he has crazy amounts of money. So um, this is a interesting way to put it, but like, yeah, he has even more power over a minor just because of, you know, they haven't lived enough life. Like, they, and they're not, they can't even, like, they, they're a minor. Like, what are you doing? Like, that's illegal. But, like, yeah, he has power over them. But he, even if he was re a regular adult, say someone his age, because what, what is, James, who, how old is James Charles? Is he, like, 20 or something? Even if he was with a 20-year-old, most 20-year-olds don't have their life in order. They don't, they, 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 you know especially with the pandemic and everything like coronavirus most of them their finances are in disarray so he still has a lot of power over someone his own age if you think about it because they want to be with him they probably do anything he says just because you know he's a famous youtuber he has bread like his bread could go a long way you feel me his bread could help them out so much so regardless he had he'd have power over anyone that he's with if you think about it he probably just doesn't realize it or see it that way himself or why he goes over and over after minors he's just sick he's just sick relationships because if he did then he wouldn't be texting little kids and it's the same with daybrid the man has power when you're in the upper echelon of youtube creators with millions of subscribers 
You have a lot of power, especially when it comes to your fans. He doesn't just have authority over his fans. He has authority over the people in his lives, his so-called friends. They all are his employees. Some people just want to make money. And some people just want to make art. And some people just want to be number one. Some people just want power. And those are the people I'm afraid of. Thank you and good night. It does concern me how YouTube will change me. I think about what I'll be like a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. And, you know, I have faith in myself that I will stay humble and be a regular person. But at the same time, how can you expect someone to be a regular person when they have millions of followers and sure lots of money because that's not really the circumstances of a normal person. That being said, if I ever make a notes app apology, please stage an intervention. If you're a YouTuber, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Because oh, I got you. I don't think I'm the only one who feels this way. All right, goodbye. If All right, so that's, I'm gonna play the rest, but that's pretty much the end um yeah i mean i i think the same thing like i want to see where my youtube channel will go like three years from now i i, I don't have as much subscribers as you but like i want to see where this thing will go one year from now two years from now three years from now four years from now i just want to see where it'll go whether i'll stay the same that's very um i honestly don't think i'll stay the same the more subscribers i get the more likes i get the more comments i get and just in life in general i i change every single day every single week i'm constantly thinking about different things like my thoughts are my i'm one of those people where my thoughts are just running 24 7 sometimes i can't even go to sleep because i'm just thinking about so many different things thinking about the world space like <laughs> everything like astro projection like I just be thinking about mad random shit, chakras, my kudalini energy, you know, spiritual, spirituality, like awareness, God, you know, religion, everything. So me in general, I think I'll change. I, I, you, I believe you'll change. Like you could say you won't change. You could say you'll stay humble. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nice to say now. <laughs> it's easy to say now wait one two years you probably probably say you you'll definitely say you changed you you, you probably and even if you don't notice the change yourself you, you're gonna change it's just natural it's human everyone changes with time so you're going to change whether you become more humble or you become more narcissistic we'll see you might be able to control it more than other people that's that's what i think with you since you're you seem aware of yourself i think you'll be able to control it more than other people you feel me so if you have the wherewithal to create your entire brand around you as a person and your personality then <laughs> that's it narcissistic you must be a little obsessed with yourself yeah all right, she's about to play that loud ass music. I'm not about to do none of that. But um, I agree. That's why when I see YouTubers where they call their their they call their subscribers a specific name, like oh, this is the whatever family. Like shout out to subscriber again. Like um, whatever, whatever. Like like if Madison Brown call her subscribers the Browns or something like that, or like like YouTubers be making these these huge groups and naming them and like that shit is just so or they be having clothes with their names on it like the brand designed after themselves like that shit is just cringy to me but that shit is so cringe like bro i'm never gonna call my subscribers a certain name like yeah y'all y'all could make that up for yourselves like if y'all wanted to like i'm never doing that no no cult following over here none of that brand no shirts with my name on it like bro i'm not doing that but like i said like comment and subscribe this is the end of the video if you enjoyed this if you watched this long ass 24 minute video um i really appreciate you but like yeah this this is definitely an interesting video definitely subscribe to her channel she's a good youtuber i like her and um that's all i really gotta say